Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody, welcome in. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, si estás viendo este video y no hablas inglés, no entiendes inglés, pues tenemos varios videos en español en nuestro canal. We have a lot of videos on our channel that are in Spanish if you do not understand English, pero este video va a estar en inglés in ese día. Hallelujah. Por la gloria y la honra del Señor. This video is going to be in English today uh, for the glory and honor of the Lord. Pero te invito a buscar en el canal por otros videos que están en español y vamos a subir más uh, muy pronto. <laughs> Gloria al Señor. We're going to put up some more videos very soon in Spanish, but uh, for right now, uh, we're going to keep things in English um, for this video. So, um, somebody say, my praise is about to pay off. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to be talking about today is my praise is about to pay off. Hallelujah, because when we are faced with the battle, when we are faced with the with the trial, with the struggle, we got to remember something, y'all. We got to just keep praising him. Just lift your hands and start praising the Lord and your praise is going to pay off. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fight. You don't have to get mad. You don't have to do anything. Just lift your hands and start praising. Just start praising him because he is worthy. Oh, hallelujah. He is worthy of all honor and of all glory and of all praise now and forever. Hallelujah. And we're talking about Jesus. Jesus, the Lord of lords and King of kings. Hallelujah. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is worthy of all praise, of all honor, and of all glory. Hallelujah. When we start praising the Lord, we see things change in our favor. Hallelujah. If we're serving him and we are upright and we are walking in the righteous pathway with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we're going to see things turned around for our favor and for the glory of of God. Hallelujah. We do not have any glory because he does not share his glory with anyone. Praise the Lord. But he is worthy of all honor and of all glory and of all praise. We are not worthy. We do not deserve his love. That is why it's called mercy and grace. Did you know that? All right. Hallelujah. Mercy is something that that you receive that you don't deserve. Hallelujah. It's not something that you worked for. It's not something that you know, um, that you should expect to receive, but it is a gift of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mercy is a gift from the Lord. Let's just praise him for a minute. Hallelujah. We're going to praise him by going to him in prayer. Did you know that prayer is a way to praise the Lord? If we're giving him thanks and we are recognizing his omnipotence, his power, his you know, his his honor, if we reverence him, we are giving him praise. But another way that we can praise him is by giving him thanks, amen, for everything that he's done for us and everything that he's doing and everything he's going to do. Hallelujah. And another way, y'all, is by singing praises to him. The Bible says to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. It doesn't say, you know, if, if you've been to singing school, <laughs> if you've had voice lessons, then use it for his glory. Well, of course, if you've had voice lessons, you ought to use it for his glory. But not every one of us have had that privilege. But we all can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. It may not be, you know, it may not be anything to anybody else, but we got to remember who we're singing to. When we open our mouth and start to praise him, we're not singing to man. We're singing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Lord in prayer right now and just praise him for a minute. And uh, we're not going to stay before you too long. I just want to bring you a word on how your praise is about to pay off. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We honor you, O oh God. We give you all honor, all glory, and all praise, O oh God. 
We recognize, oh Lord, that we are not anything without you. We recognize, oh Lord, that you are the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Oh Father, have your will and have your way. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, touch us, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch us, oh Father, by the way of your Holy Spirit today. Fill us up with your presence, Lord. But not just in this moment. Don't just descend upon us in this moment, Lord, but fill us. Fill us completely with your Holy Spirit so that even when we are finished with this word, oh Lord, this word will work on us. This word will, will just dwell in our hearts and in our minds, but it won't just sit there. It will manifest upon us as only you can, Lord. Manifest in, in our lives, oh Lord, not just for a moment, not just for a, a season. Oh, Father. Mm. So many times, you know, we hear you going through a season, Lord. But we know, Father, where our help comes from. We know, oh Lord, that there are no seasons with you, God, because we are favored. We are your people, oh Lord. We don't deserve your love. We're not worthy of your love. But you give us so graciously your love. And we thank you, God. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Receive all honor and all glory, Lord. Take control, O oh, Father, of this moment, Lord, as we praise you, as we learn in your word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that we pray is in the name that is above all names, which is Jesus Christ. So your praise is about to pay off. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 20. That's what we're going to be looking at. Let me find it in my Bible as well as you look for yours. If you have your Bible, I just want you to turn with me to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And if you don't, then you can just follow along with us. Um, if you need a Bible and you live in the United States, then let me know. If you don't have a Bible, I'd be glad to send you one. If you just let me know, my email is down in the description box. So if you don't have a Bible, you need one, can't afford it, don't have resources, we're here to help you. We want to bless you in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1 through 30. The word of God reads, In the name of the Father and the Son and for guidance of the Holy Spirit. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab, the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from behind the sea on this side, Syria. And behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar. Sorry, y'all, I don't pronounce these words very good. <laughs> Somebody got a different pronunciation, let me know. Which is in Jedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Hallelujah. And Judah gathered themselves together in, to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over the kingdoms of the heathen and in thine hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee hallelujah Jesus hallelujah art not thou our God who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before the people of Israel and gavest it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever. And they dwelt therein and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us as the sword, 
judgment or pestilence or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence for thy name is in this house and cry upon, I'm sorry, cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, cry unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. Hallelujah. And that's what he's saying there. Cry unto thee in our affliction and thou wilt hear and help. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He helps us when we call out to him. Verse 10. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say how, thy, how they reward us to come to cast out of thy possession which thou hast given us to inherit. Mm. O oh, our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither, na neither know we what to do, but our eyes, where? Verse 12, our eyes are upon thee. Keep your eyes on the prize. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children, then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of ben Beniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mat I'm sorry, Mataniah, hallelujah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation, and he said, Hearken ye, all Judah and ye inhabitant inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou... King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid, hallelujah, be not afraid in this battle that you're going through, be not afraid, be not dismayed, hallelujah, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. You ever feel like it's just a bunch of people coming against you or a lot of things coming against you, hallelujah, a multitude coming against you? Hmm. For the battle is not yours. We are reading in verse 15. You've heard it from the Lord. For the battle is not yours. It's God's. Hallelujah. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and you shall find them at the end of the brook where before the wilderness of Jeruel. You shall not need to fight in this battle. You don't have to fight, y'all. Woo! Set yourselves. Stand ye still. Peace. Have peace. Hallelujah. Stand ye still. Then you're at peace. You're tranquil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. Be at peace. Know that you're saved. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord, what, will be with you. The Lord is with you. The multitude has come against you, and you just feel like you're so alone. But guess what? He's with you. He hasn't left you. Glory to God, yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, a while back, we were going through a, a, a trial, a test, if you will, and I just, I felt like nobody, nobody was listening to my side. Nobody understood me. Nobody was with me. Come on. Nobody cared. I felt like I was crying alone by myself. And everybody and everything was just against me. And I thought, Lord, Lord, I cried out to the Lord, y'all. 
just pouring my tears out to him. And I said, God, I'm not perfect. But I know what I've done and what I haven't done, God. Woo, help me, Jesus. Lord, I know where I messed up and where I didn't. Doesn't matter what all these people are thinking or what they're saying. Hey, somebody's going through that right now. Your whole family's against you. But guess what? If you're standing upright with the Lord, he's on your side. Woo, hallelujah. He's on your side. He sees you. Jesus, he sees you. You're not alone. Even though you feel like you're so alone, I felt so alone. Hey. But glory to God, he heard my cry. Oh, Jesus. He heard my cry and he had me in his arms the whole time. Woo. Jesus. When I felt like going backwards, y'all. Oh. I felt like going backwards because I thought, what is the point anymore? It was that bad. It was that bad in my mind, you know? Sometimes things, you know, get so... Mm. The Bible says we walk through the waters and through the rivers and through the fire. I felt like I was in the fire and I was just burning and I couldn't. I just couldn't do it anymore, y'all. I couldn't keep going. But what does the scripture say? Even though you walk through the water and through the rivers and through the fire, I will be there. Hallelujah. God is with you. Yes. Woo. Promises of the Lord that you cannot deny, y'all. Mm. When he says he's going to be there, he's there. Thank you, Jesus. We don't have to do anything, y'all. We don't have to fight. Woo, I was mad. I was so mad at what I was going through and I wanted to fight. And y'all, I did fight. That's covered by the blood now. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's covered by the blood now because I asked forgiveness from the person, you know, from the, from the people that I hurt. I asked forgiveness and I asked forgiveness from the Lord because I fought. I was falsely accused. You ever been falsely accused? All of us have been at some point or another. And I was so hurt and I was mad. I lost my temper, guys. I lost my temper. You ever lost your temper? You ever went in a rage? Even though you know that you've been set free from all that? Even though you know, hey, you know that you're supposed to be a brother or sister of peace? He's called us to peace. Mm-hmm. But I got mad. I lost my temper and I said, Lord, nobody understands. I'm telling the truth. Nobody gets it. It looks bad. It looks so bad. But I'm telling the truth. Hey, <laughs> you ever been in that situation where it looks so bad, but you know who you are? <laughs> yes. I knew who I was. I knew my identity in Christ. And I messed up, though, because I got mad. I let my anger get the best of me. And I took things in my own hands, literally. And I I just, I got so upset. But then I asked the Lord to forgive me. And I said, God, look, I know you're with me. I know you are. But your servant is struggling here. Hallelujah. I know you're with me. I know you've always been with me. God, you've never forsaken me. And your word says you never will. Mm, hallelujah. But Lord, I'm struggling here. I could use a little, you know, just something. Something. I need something, you know. You ever feel like you just need a little evidence? I know faith is, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But hey, sometimes that faith just gets low. We're running on empty, guys. We're just running on fumes now. And we just feel like we can't go on because we're about to throw in the towel. But praise God for his mercy and for his grace. That's when he just steps in. Woo! 
And I said, Lord, I could just use you right now. I know you're here. And I know you were there. <laughs> Hallelujah, you were there. <laughs> when all this went down, you were there. You knew. And you still know. You know who I am. You know what's going on. You know, you know, you know what happens. <laughs> I know what happened. They don't know. But hallelujah, you know. And that's the most important thing is who you are in Christ. Because people are going to run their mouth. Hey, sometimes it's like parrots, you know. People are just, ooh, flapping, flapping, flapping. And ooh, <laughs> She did this and this and this and he did and and, and, and this happened and gossip, gossip. Who? We rebuke the spirit of gossip today. Hallelujah, Jesus. But then one day, not long after that, after you know I had that conversation with the Lord, I just need a little something to show me and to show them. <laughs> Praise God. You ever gotten down to that level where you just wanted to show somebody? Now, that's a sin. <laughs> Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. But I've gotten that far. I said, God, show me and show them. Because I know who I am. <laughs> Lord, forgive us. But sometimes we just get to that level. And you know what he did? He showed up big time. He sent me a $4,000 check in the mail. Came out of nowhere, y'all. Came out of nowhere. Glory to God. And it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the amount. It wasn't like I even needed it. And that is where he touched me. Because I didn't need it. I didn't ask for it. I said, show me you're with me. I need you to show me. And Lord, forgive me, but I want to show them that you saw everything. A 4000 and something check came in the mail, a little more than about $4,500, y'all. Woo, glory to God. Came in the mail. I wasn't expecting it. And it blew my mind. The Lord blew my mind with it. And I said, Jesus, yes, you were there. Holy Spirit, yes, you were there. Hallelujah. I opened it up and I started to praise him. But y'all, so many times we do things in reverse, just like your servant here did. I did it in reverse. I saw that check and I started to, woo, I started to shout and I started to praise him, y'all. That wasn't that, that's the right attitude. We got to praise him for what he's doing. Sometimes we got to praise him when we don't see it. You know what would have been best for me to do in that situation is when I felt like throwing in the towel, I should have said, Lord, I know you're here. I claim your promises and that's enough for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the trial. Thank you for the test. I know that we're coming through. I know that you're with me. I know you got this. Thank you, Jesus. And that should have been enough, but it wasn't, y'all. So many times we get like that, and it's just not enough for us, and we want proof. And that's where I was. I wanted proof. But when he sent me that check, glory to God. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. It might not have been a check for you. It might have been a phone call. Hey. And for you, that phone call was worth more than that $4,500 that I got in the mail because that was your sign. But see, we're looking for signs a lot of times and we're not looking for the presence of God. That's what he wants us to look for is his face. You gotta keep your eyes on the prize. Let's stop falling off after the signs and the miracles and the wonders and the, and, you know, and, and the healings and the, and the prophecies. Let's stop following after this and let's start following after Jesus. Woo, Lord, hallelujah. Jesus, have mercy on us, God. Have mercy on us, God. Woo. We were at verse, Lord God. We were at verse 18, hallelujah. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping. Woo! 
worshipped the Lord. And the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the Korites stood up to praise. Praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. It didn't say that they were praising him like this. Thank you, Jesus. No, it said that they praised him with a loud voice on high. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Yes, we got to praise him. We got to get loud in the presence of the Lord. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the message, why are we quiet in the presence of the Lord? Go back and watch it. I'm going to link it down below in the comments for you. we got to go back and watch that because he doesn't want you to be quiet in his presence. We go to the football game and, whoo, get him, boy, get him. Go on now. Hey. But in the church, we said, thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Pastor's preaching and he's, oh, the Lord has set you free and you aren't in the bondage anymore. And, we're... and sometimes we might say, hallelujah. We got our hand halfway up, you know. But at the football game, we're jumping up and, oh, go on now, go on. You're right there, right there. Go, go, go. You see him, you see him, go, go. Come on, y'all. We got to do better. Why do we act like that? Ooh, Lord, blessed exhortation this morning. It's morning right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's morning, night, or evening where you are. Hallelujah. But the Lord is speaking today. Let's go home. Hallelujah. With a loud voice on high, verse 20, and they arose early in the morning. And went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Are you established? Believe in the Lord your God, so you shall be established. Set firm in the foundation. Are you firm in the foundation? So you shall be established. Believe his prophets. So you shall prosper. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to prosper. What does that word prosper mean? It doesn't necessarily mean wealth and fame, y'all. Oh, Lord, I'm tired. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody's going to get mad at me today, but I am tired of all these false prophets running around. Look, I believe in, I believe in the money too, y'all. I do. I believe in blessings, material blessings, if you will, business blessings, and your business is growing, and your your wallet is growing, and yes, 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 God can do that. I just told you now, I received $4,500 in the mail that I was not looking for. Praise God, but it wasn't about the money. I didn't need that money. Wasn't looking for it. I'm so tired of all these false prophets, and we're going to talk about that one day. When the Lord leads, the Lord is leading. Hey, the Lord is leading, but when the Lord pushes, <laughs> hey, I'm going to give that message for the glory of the Lord. But I'm tired of all these false prophets running around and, and blessings, blessings, blessings. Where are the prophets that call out your sin in these last days? Where are the prophets? Glory. You know, a prophet gives a message. It could be a message of blessing. It could be a message of prosperity. But you know, it could also be a warning to you. Where are our warning prophets in these last days? They have disappeared. We got to go find them. Hey. <laughs> We got to ask the Lord to raise up some new ones because the old ones have chickened out. Yes, Lord. Raise up some more prophets in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Whew. 
Believe his prophets so you shall prosper. Not just your money, but so your life will prosper. Hallelujah. So you can get your right, can get your life right with Jesus. So you can stand firm in the foundation and you can praise him and you can keep on advancing because that's what the Lord wants for our life is for us to keep on advancing in his kingdom and bringing the lost to him so that more souls can be saved for the glory of God. Not just so we can grow our business, not just so we can grow our checkbook, but that we can grow and we can further the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I'm not furthering my kingdom. I don't have a kingdom. Hallelujah. But I belong to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Do you belong to his kingdom today? Hallelujah. Verse 21 said, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed who? Singers unto the Lord. And they, and, and that should praise the beauty of, huh? Holiness. Woo! Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about walking around with your head down and your skirt down to your feet and, and your long hair down to your butt. What I am talking about is the holiness of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The holiness that he brings into your life. That you are purified. You are sanctified for his glory. And hey, if he calls you to change your appearance and to, and to you know, never cut your hair again and use your dress down to your feet. I'm not picking on you. I'm not making fun of you. I love you. But that is not for everyone. Hey. That is not for everyone, and that is not something that we find in the Word of God, but that is something that the Lord will speak to you on a personal level because everyone, hey, everyone, everyone has a different process that we go through. And I may not be there. I may not be at the same spot that you are. You may not be at the same spot that I am. Hallelujah. But we are all going in the same direction, which is... With him. If we are saved and we are redeemed and we got the Holy Spirit living inside us, we are serving him. It's all for the same God. And I love you. When he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 22. We're getting there. Hallelujah. And when they began to sing and to praise. Hey, listen up now. When they began to sing and to praise. That is when what happened? Keep reading verse 22. The Lord. Does it say Jehoshaphat? Does it say Jehoshaphat's mama came out there? Woo! Does it say his pastor came out there? Uh-uh. Where we got to bring our problems to, y'all? We going to publicate it in Facebook? Maybe somebody going to help us. No. Let's make a video on YouTube. Tell everybody what's going on. What kind of problems we got. Let's not ask for any prayer. We're just going to share. No. Let me call up. Let me call up my friend over here. Let me let me call up Rebecca. I don't even know who Rebecca is. I'm just making up something. Hey, let me call up Rebecca. Let me just tell her what's going on because, whoo, Lord, I've had a week. No. The Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. My mama didn't do it. My pastor didn't do it. Rebecca on the phone didn't do it. Facebook sure didn't do it. Which were come against Judah. And they were what? They were hurt. They needed some band-aids. They were crying. They were smitten. They were smitten. The Lord did it. Woo! When the Lord fights our battles for us, he always wins. 
When I try to fight my own battles, guess what? I go into the cave again. You ever been in the cave? You know what the cave is? Depression, anxiety, worry, fear. When I try to fight my own battles and I go head to head with my, with my junk that's coming up against me, I say, woo, that's too much for me. I gotta, mm -mm. I gotta back down. I gotta back down because I can't do it. But when the Lord goes in front of me and he sees that battle coming on to me head on and he fights it for me, woo, I'm set free. Jesus. Woo, I don't have to worry about it anymore for the children of Ammon. Verse 23, and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and to destroy them. That battle that's coming, coming in your face, that what you're going through right now, the Bible says that Satan came to steal, kill, and to destroy. It's not just you. It's not just me. It's every one of the children of God. There is no one that is accepted from this rule that the enemy has come to steal and to kill and to destroy. If he's not messing with you, you better check your heart today. Because... If he don't have a problem with you, then it's because he's already got you. Jesus. Mm. Preaching to myself. Hallelujah. Just as much as I'm sharing with y'all. Whew. Lord. When they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir... Everyone helped to destroy another. <laughs> you put things in the hands of the Lord. You start to praise him and you're going to see people get up and come and help you that you didn't even think about. Woo! People that don't even like you. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! When I went through that problem that I was telling y'all about, glory to God. <laughs> there was people that I didn't even think respected me. People that I thought, yep, they're going to be the very ones to take this and run with it. The news has gotten out. They're going to, ooh, they're going to destroy me with this. I know who I am, but I know who they are too. I know sister and brother so-and-so, they're just going to run with it and they're going to tell the whole world about it. They're going to dog me and throw me up under the bus. No. Uh. You know what they did? All these that I, I didn't think even cared. They were the very ones that came to see me. You find out who your friends are. <laughs> you go through a trial. You go through something. You find out who your friends are, okay? Because the very ones that I thought I knew, they were the ones that turned on me. They were the ones that gossiped. And that's how it is, y'all. But the ones that I really thought, you know, it, you know, it's like, Lord, forgive me, but I just know. I just feel it, you know? They're going to throw me under the bus. No, 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 no. They came to the house. They brought me the word that I needed. Thank you, Lord. And they tried to lift me back up. They said, keep going, servant. We know you. I don't know what you went through. I don't know what you're going through. But I know who you are. You got to get up. You got to keep going. When I felt like I couldn't go on anymore, they were the very ones that came to me and pulled me up and told me to go. Thank you, Father. God bless you. They were the very ones that sent me text messages, gave me phone calls, and they said, Sister, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. But I know we're living in the last days. You can't trust anybody anymore. But you got to go on. You can't let this detain you. Don't let this detain you. Don't let this battle that's... Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
I don't know what you're going through today, people of God, but he does. Don't let it detain you. Keep on marching. Onward, Christian soldiers. Hallelujah. Onward, Christian soldiers. Yes, we are soldiers of the Most High, the Lord of hosts. Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. Let's keep on reading. Verse 24 says, And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth. None escaped. You know, God's justice is greater than our justice. So many times we want to take things in our own hands and we want to fight our own battles and we want to do something because something needs to be done. Somebody's got to stop this. No. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away. They were blessed. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. On the fourth day, they assembled them themselves in the valley of Baraka, Baracha, I don't know, in that valley, y'all. For, for there they blessed the Lord. They didn't cry about it. Therefore, the name of the place was called the Valley of Baraka unto this day. When they returned, every man of Judah and Jerusalem, Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy, for the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies. It's what the Lord does when he goes before you. You're going to come out triumphant. Your praise is about to pay off. Your praise is about to pay off. It's not time to throw in the towel. I know it's gotten tough. It's gotten real bad. Things have gotten so bad you can't see your way out. You don't see that light at the end of the tunnel anymore. All you see is darkness and you don't know where you're going and you're spinning in circles and you're trying to find your way out. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody today that's listening under the sound of my voice. Keep your eyes on Jesus. The Lord says to you, I love you. I've seen your works, I know your heart. Nobody loves you, dear child, like Jesus. I love you, but I don't love you like Jesus loves you. I'm incapable of loving like Jesus loves. You know, I wish I could. And I pray and I ask God to make me more like him. To have compassion for his children because we're living in the last days. The Bible says that in the last days, love will wax cold. And we've seen that. We've seen that love has waxed cold. It's getting colder and colder. Nobody loves anybody anymore. Nobody cares. Jesus cares. Verse 27, Then they returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies, and they came to Jerusalem with psalteries 
and harps and trumpets unto the house of the Lord. And the fear of God was on all the kingdom of those countries. God is about to show up and blow up. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is about to show up and blow up. That is the word that the Lord, that the Lord has given me right now. I don't know what that means for you. I don't know, y'all, what it means for me. But I know that justice is in his hands. All the tears that we have cried for his glory. All the tears of our sufferings for his sake. He has them in his hand, and that word speaks to me right now. He has them in his hand, and he's going to, the Bible says, pour them out of our enemies as justice. It's in his hands. Let it be in his hands. Stay in peace. Stay in peace. Stay in peace, Nancy. Stay in peace. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get up. You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk, Nancy. You don't have to fight. Put your hands down. Sit down. Calm down. Take a tranquilizer of the Holy Ghost, y'all. Holy Spirit, tranquilize us now. Hallelujah. Don't have to do anything. Well, you got to do something. But you don't have to raise your hand and you don't have to... Not at your enemy. Not at your enemy. Not at this process that you're going through because it's his. This battle's not yours. It's his. Woo! So the realm of Jehoshaphat was what? Verse 30. We're getting there. The realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet. So I said, you don't have to talk. You don't have to do anything. Just sit down. Sit down. Get on your knees. That's better. On your knees. Don't even sit because you're going to have temptation to get up. On your knees. On your knees. On your knees, Nancy. So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet for his God gave him rest about. Hey, Jehoshaphat and his army was at peace. Woo, we should be at peace, y'all. <laughs> Lord, bless it. Bless us. Bless us. You know, so many times we just want to take things in control. We want to go out and we just, sometimes we want to smack that old devil upside the head. <laughs> Praise God. Sometimes we might look at our enemy and we want to, we want to talk to them. Let me tell them what's right. We get this attitude problem, but our mind should be the mind of Christ. Lord, help us. God is so good. Your praise is about to pay off. The word that we just read said that they appointed singers to go out before the army. They started to bring church to them. <laughs> Next time somebody want to talk smack with you, you just, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What they going to do? They got to, they have to stop. <laughs> Somebody want to get all up in your face? Tell you what's what? Don't you start on them. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord. Yes, because you are worthy. Oh, you are worthy. Oh, yes, you are. What can they do? Hey. <laughs> what can they do? <laughs> they have to sit down and they have to be quiet. That's what they can do. <laughs> Y'all, 
God is good. We don't have to fight our battles. You know why? They're not ours. Did you not pay attention? <laughs> this battle's not yours. It's the Lord's. Your praise is about to pay off. It's not time to throw in the towel. Not time to warm up them fist. <laughs> Jesus. No. No, y'all. It's time to take a tranquilizer of the Holy Ghost. Get down on your knees. Cry out to him. Hallelujah. Start to praise him. If you resist the devil, he has to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you today. Thank you, O Lord, for your word. Help us, O Lord, to live in it. In Jesus' name. God bless you.